Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and Apple Card is officially here and I wanted to unbox it and share the activation method with you guys. Now, if you haven't received your Apple Card invitation from Apple as of yet, Apple is slowly rolling out their invitation, sending them to all iOS users to apply for this card. Of course, this is all subject to credit approval, but if you haven't received your notification from Apple, you can always go to the wallet application. You wanna head on over to the plus icon and then you wanna click on set up card or add a card and your invitation may be here that's what happened to me I did not get the notification but the actual invitation was in there so a little over a week ago I did receive my invitation I've been using Apple card with the wallet application over the past several days there's a few things that I wanted to share with you guys some information on the service itself as well as the unboxing and setup process of the physical card which you can also request once you activate Apple card on your iPhone as well so let's begin here we go so there it is and inside here we have a white envelope so there you go you can see it's a plain white envelope with some information on the back actually looks really really nice so let's open it up here let me go ahead and show you there it is the brand new apple card it does have the person's name in the front and it tells you how to activate your card so let's go ahead and get the card activated here so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and open the wallet application and we should be able to set up the card. Let's go ahead and click here. And let's go ahead and click set up card or activate card. Here we go. So there we go. The activation process has been completed. Just as simple as that to activate the brand new Apple card. So now the card, the physical card is ready to use. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual card here though, because it looks really, really sleek. This is a metal solid it feels very solid very clean has the goldman sachs and mastercard logo on the back the strip on the bottom so you can swipe your card has a chip reader right here your name and the apple logo so take a look at the brand new apple card right there very sleek very cool titanium this is a solid card so let's go ahead and set that aside here and let me talk about some of the features with the Apple Card and the Apple service, the Apple Pay and Apple Cash, how everything works. So once you set up your Apple Pay with the wallet application, of course you can use Apple Pay with the Apple Card on your iPhone, as well as the physical card that you get in the mail if you request to get that as well. Now the benefit of having the physical card is to be able to make purchases where Apple Pay is not accepted. Not everywhere accept Apple Pay as of right now. So this is sort of an extension of the Apple Card on the iPhone. Now you have a breakdown here of the uh, usage or the actual expenses, things that you've bought. You have your payments here where you can schedule payments right here. And you can also schedule the payments directly within the application so you're never late. You have all of your transactions. One thing I do love about this is it tells you exactly where you purchase, whatever it is that you purchase. It gives you merchant information, the address, location, and everything when you make a purchase by tapping into the actual vendor. You get all that information right then and there. Now on the top right corner, you have your information, your customer service, and everything else that you would need. So you can contact Apple for any questions that you may have by a message, by a phone call, or website. Site. you can schedule your payments right here you can make a payment whenever you want as well your card information lies within this particular category here and here you'll find your card number and things of that nature you have your credit limit your APR your bank account where you can set it up so when you set those payments or automatic schedule payments you have all that information logged in and it will take it directly from uh, your bank account for example so you can make your payments you have physical card activation and tracking information below there and one thing I do want to talk about is Apple cash so you do get cash back with this card depending on the purchase so if you use the actual physical Apple card this card here for any purchase using this you get 1% cash back now if you use the Apple Pay Apple card right here on your iPhone you get 2% cash back so for example I've used the Apple card on the iPhone so I got 2% cash back on these two transactions as you see there but if I use the physical card I will get 1% cash back now that cash back goes into the Apple cash card this one right here so that is where your Apple cash will be now if you make any purchases any Apple product, any Apple service, now applications, in-app purchases, any iPhone cases, any Apple products using your Apple Card or your Apple Card on the iPhone using Apple Pay, you'll get 3% cash back. So 1% cash back on any purchase using the card, 
2% cash back using Apple Pay Anywhere, and 3% cash back purchasing any Apple services or products. So that is pretty much everything for Apple Card. I wanted to share this information with you guys. I hope you guys get your invitation soon. If not, you can always check the wallet application. I'll be using this product and this physical card in the next couple of days. This is relatively interesting. I never thought I'd see the day where the Apple Card would be a thing, but it's definitely, definitely here, and it's here to stay. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.